Hi guys, this is Stefano and today we are going to see how to make the copper metal effect for the Death Guard. In this video we are going to make a true metallic metal copper effect for the Death Guard. What we will see is nothing different from the classic Games Workshop color system. We have already seen it together on the painting of Zombie Sides Zombie Video. So let's start with Screaming Bell, a basic color to spread on all those parts of the miniature you intend to paint with the copper effect. After the first layer, give a shader hand, in this case Agrax Earthshade. You can also use a larger brush, as long as the shader stays in the copper colored areas. Applying this layer will help you better define the shadows and areas most exposed to light in preparation of the next step. Don't be in a hurry, remember that shaders take longer to dry. Allow yourself 10 minutes of break. I suggest you read a good book, The Ender's Game. In addition to miniatures, I am a fan of the science fiction from the last century. It fascinates me to see how in the pre-computer age we could imagine technologies present today in our everyday life. In this, The Ender Game is a master. Although it was written in 1985, it immediately rose to the podium of my favorite books. Set 80 years after the first invasion of alien on Earth, Ender will have to enlist at an early age to become a feudal commander in the ongoing war. The author Orson Scott Card is however particularly good at developing a portrait of emotions, demons and anxiety that the young Ender will have to face. The film released a few years ago fails in this. I didn't find it at the end of the book, which instead is much more emotionally engaging and keeps you literally glued. Absolutely a must for fans of the genre. But if you prefer, in 10 minutes you can always help at home. Let's go back to our miniature. After the shader, apply a layer of brass scorpion to the areas most exposed to light. This color is a layer, so it will be thinner and give brightness to the miniature, creating light effects when it moves. Avoid the creeks, where the shader has gone to settle more. Here is where the light beats less, lets the shader simulate shadows and depth. I didn't have a Citadel Silver to use, but this one from Army Painter does its duty. 
Now we have to simulate a wear effect of the metal. Then apply the silver where you believe the metal beats more. It wears out and then the rust patina is removed. Use it on the edges, on the studs and simulate scratches. Do not load the brush. Just very little color in this case and use the edge of the brush to color the most accentuated edges. You don't have to do this step, but if you want an extra touch, you can simulate the typical oxidation of copper with the technical color from Citadel, Nihilac Oxide. With a small brush, apply the color where you imagine the water can deposit and immediately remove it with a tissue. If you enjoyed this video, share it with friends, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, I'll be happy to answer you.